Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression? So if we have 4 to the power of 10 minus 4 to the power of 8, we write this into the simplified form. But here you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. Here we will show all of the working in your paper or you can do all of the working in your head. Uh, so now the very first step we are going to do is here first we need to focus on the exponent of this term so that the exponent of this term is 10 and we write it is uh, we write it as 4 to the power of 8 plus 2 minus here you have 4 to the power of 8 and now we can apply the exponent law you know that if you have a to the power of m plus n equals to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so according to this exponent law we can break this exponent and it will be written as 4 to the power of 8 multiplied by 4 to the power of 2 minus 4 to the power of 8. So now you need to focus on this term and you see here we have 4 to the power of 8 with a common term and we obtain 4 squared minus 1 so we have 4 to the power of 8 and this 4 squared equals to 16 minus 1. Okay, in the next step, uh, we have 4 to the power of 8 multiplied by 16 minus 1 equals to 15. So further, you see here, uh, this 4, uh, we need to focus on the base of this term. So uh, the base of this term is 4 and we write it as 2 squared and its exponent is 8 and it is multiplied by 15. So here we use another exponent law you know that if we have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m times of n so according to this uh, uh, according to this exponent law uh, we can just multiply these two exponents and it will be written as 2 to the power of 2 times of 8 becomes 16 and it is multiplied by 15. So here further we need more simplifications and uh, uh, we will write it as uh, here you have this is 2 to the power of 16 and we write it as 10 plus 6 multiplied by 15. So here we can again use the given exponent law which we can apply in the first term. Here we need again this exponent law. So according to this law we break the exponent of this term and it will be written as 2 to the power of 10 multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 15 and now in the next step here we need to focus on this 2 to the power of 10 and we write it as 2 to the power of we write this 10 as 2 multiplied by 5 and it is multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 15 uh, and similarly in the next step we have uh, uh, here we need to rewrite this expression as 2 to the power of 5 and its whole square multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 15 and now here our next target is to find the value of 2 to the power of 5 and 2 to the power of 6 so you know that if you have 2 to the power of 1 it is equals to 2 if we have 2 to the power of 2 it is equals to 4 if you have 2 to the power of 3 it is equals to 8 and similarly we will move forward and uh, you can multiply 2 to the power of 4 so in order to find the next exponent of 2 we need to multiply the previous term by 2 so uh, 2 to the power of 4 equals to 8 times of 2 becomes 16 and 2 to the power of 5 equals 2 we need to multiply 16 by 2 becomes 32 and 2 to the power of 6 equals to 32 times of 2 becomes 64 so here uh, we need we need these two values we will replace uh, this 2 to the power of 5 equals to 32 square and we write this 2 to the power of 6 is equals to 64 and it is multiplied by 15 and now in the next step in order to uh, take the square of 32 we need to break this 32 as 30 plus 2 whole square and it is multiplied by 64 and it is multiplied by 15. So here we use this nice algebraic formula if you have a plus b whole square it is equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square. According to this formula we write this expression as 
30 square plus 2 times of 30 into 2 plus 2 square and it is multiplied by 64 multiplied by 15 and now in the next step we have 30 square equals to 900 and 2 times of 30 times of 2 equals to 120 and 2 square equals to 4 and it is multiplied by 64 and 15 so here uh, first we need to uh, sum up all of these values by the traditional method of addition so you know that 900 plus 120 plus 24 equals to 1024 and it is multiplied by 64 multiplied by 15 and now in the next step here uh, we need to break this uh, 1024 we write it as 1000 plus uh, 20 plus 4 okay this will becomes 1024 and it is multiplied by 64 and it is also multiplied by 15 and now in the next step we need to first multiply 64 on all of these terms so it will be written as 64 multiplied by 1000 plus 64 multiplied by 20 plus 64 multiplied by 4 and it is the whole term is multiplied by 15 so after this step uh, when you multiply 64 by 1000 it is equals to 64000 and 64 times of 2 uh, 64 times of 20 equals to 1280 and 64 times of 4 becomes 256 and it is multiplied by 15 and now uh, next further we need to sum up all of these values and it will be written as when uh, here you can uh, apply the traditional method of addition in order to uh, sum all these values and i hope so you learn this method in your primary classes and you easily uh, sum up all of these values so when you add these three values it will be written as uh, 65536 and it is multiplied by 15 and now in the next step uh, here we need to multiply this value by 5 uh, so in order to write this into more simplified form uh, we write this 15 as 10 plus 5 and next further uh, we will multiply this term by 10 so it will be written as 6 5 5 3 6 and 0 plus when you multiply this whole term by 5 we will obtain here 3 2 7 6 and 8 0 so finally we need to uh, sum up these two values and you uh, we will move towards our final destination so uh, our final destination is that 9 8 3 0 and 4 0 so final answer of this problem is 4 to the power of 10 minus 4 to the power of 8 equals to 9, 8, 3, 0 and 4, 0. This is the final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.